Um, Dr. Gottfried, the first question I'd like to ask you concerns the issue of how to distinguish between the left and the right in the first place. What are the defining characteristics of each, and what does it really mean to be on the right as opposed to the left? Well, you know, I, I, I think you have to sort of make what I would call generic distinctions. That is to say, we're not going to speak about you know, who was on the left and right in the Republican Party or whether Fox News is to the right of NBC or something like that. But um, how would one define the right as opposed to the left? Look, looking at them as, one might say, sort of existential cosmological positions, what, how, what would be right and what would be left? I, I would say that one characteristic that has to be accepted or should be accepted about the right is the right is not only unconcerned about, about inequality, but is based on a principle of hierarchy, that, that inequality seems to be one to the natural, not necessarily even the preferred human, it's the natural human condition, and it is the precondition for a well-ordered society. Men and women are different. Uh, there's an order of the family in European societies for a long time. Of course, you had aristocracies, but things like class differences would not be of concern to the right, uh, as long as they are seen to serve the greater social good. The left, on the other hand, uh, believes in the idea of equality, not political equality, social equality, uh, and then in its multicultural forms, of course, the equality of all cultures, and not the equality of all cultures, but might say the, the superiority of non-Western cultures, because the Western Western society is seen uh, as almost sort of uniquely guilty uh, of imposing inequality on the rest of the world. So, so the equality, I think, I might say, uh, equality versus inequality would be the essential polarity between between left and right. So, so uh, an, another another major difference is I think that the uh, the right sort of looks for its ideals, generally speaking, to the past. It does not look upon the past as a prolonged period of oppression, evil, it looks upon the past as the source of the ideals uh, by which people are to be living in the present. The left is always, is always very much pointed toward the future and sees itself as reconstructing uh, the past. It always has a kind of reconstructionist project that aims uh, at the achievement of greater equality.